Hello everyone, welcome to Motivational Sunday. I am so excited to be here with you today. I am here to motivate you. I am here to encourage you. I am here to empower you on this Sunday because every day it's a day to it's a new beginning. Every day it's for you to restart. So as you start your week tomorrow Monday, just know it's another opportunity for you to restart. It's another opportunity for you to achieve your goals. Your goals are achievable. Father Almighty, we just thank you for this moment. We thank you for your blessings that are new every day. Father, we pray that you guide our every path. Father, we pray for wisdom as we try to achieve our goals. Father, we pray for direction. We pray for provision and we pray for protection in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This week was a very historical week in our nation. We have a first female vice president and not only is she female, she is also black. So this should encourage you, this should motivate you. There is hope at the end of the tunnel. So just know your dreams are achievable. Just know you could achieve whatever you want. You just need to work really hard. So today our topic is just going to be on communicating with God. But how do you communicate with God? The answer is simple. There is no specific way of communicating with God. You could be driving your car and just talking to him. I would like to encourage you today to communicate with God at all times. It doesn't have to be the first hour of the morning or the last hour of the night. Any time of the day, every day is a good time to communicate with him. I'm just here to encourage you. If you have lost faith, just keep praying and trusting God. He will definitely come true for you. And also, if you say you don't know how to communicate with God, just talk to him like how you talk to your dad. Talk to him like how you talk to your father. Just sit in your car and be like, okay, God, this is what I'm going through. I cannot, I'm not able to talk to you. Teach me how to talk to you. How do I talk to you? Where do I need to go? Just direct me, you know. When I was trying to um, prepare this lesson in my meditation moment with God, I was like, God, how, what am I going to say in that meditational moment? And I heard my son screaming upstairs, like he screamed at the top of his lungs. So I was in my room and I heard that he was upstairs and he was with my mom and I just got off the bed and rushed upstairs and I was like, what is going on? And my mom was like, no, he's trying to uh, play with this. He's not supposed to play with, it's harmful and whatever. So, you know, but then that's when it clicked to me. I was like, oh, wow, this is God telling me something. It's just telling me like there's different ways of communicating with God. There's the passive way where when we need something, we're like, well, God, just give me if you want to, if you don't feel like giving me, it's okay. Or sometimes we're like, we just say a, a, a passive prayer, like we don't put our intentions to it. So God wants us to pray with intentions, you know, like when I heard my son cry, I woke up that bed, I rushed to him in the split of a second so if i as a human can do that what about your heavenly father i feel like sometimes when we break down and we just fall to the floor and just scream then we draw god's attention it's not all the time that we have to do that but sometimes our prayers have to be in such a way that it will draw his attention and then he will turn towards you you know you have to pray with intentions you have to just you have to give it all to him at that moment so when i went upstairs i found out when my mom told me he was trying to play with this and he's not supposed to play with and i was like you know i gave him a big hug and i was like you can't play with this you know 
and that's not a toy for you to play with it's not something for you to mess with it got me thinking like sometimes we ask god we cry for something and it's not the right time to have it or we're not even supposed to have it because it's harmful so why will god give us something that he knows it's harmful sometimes when our prayers are not answered we think god doesn't want to give us what we're requesting for but sometimes it could just be that it's harmful it could just be that you know we don't need it you know it's not important a quick story here i was dating this guy and i knew he was the one i was like god please this is the guy you know and we used to communicate a lot me and this guy and we had the same love of the same thing and i was like god it must be it must be this guy I was praying i was like this is the guy and icing on top of the cake was that he loved country music i love country music we have like gospel music country music beyonce and then the rest you know in any order so when i found out that this guy also loved country music we used to sing together and you know when we talk together and he would be like what is your favorite color and i was like oh my god this is the guy he's trying to know me better he's asking for my favorite color and i was all in my feelings you know i was like god this must be him this is the guy you know and he told me his favorite color is blue and i was like wow okay so we are getting to know each other better this is really a good thing and you know after i got into my car i'm just telling you the story just to show you like the various ways that god communicates with people like god can communicate with you in any and every circumstance you don't have to be on your knees you know for him to talk to you god can talk to you at any time god can talk to you at any moment you could be in your car and talking to him and the next music that plays is the reply to the question you were asking him so what i tell people is when you're talking to god because some people tell me well they don't listen to god god doesn't talk to them but that's because you're not listening sometimes we talk we vent and we just express ourselves to him and just keep saying god why god why or we're like i want this i want that but we don't really listen we don't take the time to just pause and listen to his word because god talks to us he communicates like god communicates with me in various ways it could be on social media like if it's something i've been asking him about and you know i could just open up a page in social media and boom the answer is right there like i was talking about the story so when i got into my car you know about this guy that i really thought he was the one i turned on the radio country music of course and you know kid urban he has this song called blue is not your color i was like no it's not, you know he is the one you know it was like the song just google the song blue ends your color so i mean i had just left from talking with the guy and we were talking colors and i you know what's your favorite color and he said blue and as soon as i get into my car this song is playing like you know blue is not your color you know it's wasting your time it's a waste of time yeah you could just google the song it's really 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 interesting and i was like no but then i came to find out you know he wasn't the one like when i look back i'm like wow thank you jesus like thank you god he wasn't the one for me so this is just to tell you like you know it's not everything that he has to answer with the years you know sometimes he's just trying to protect us from future harm sometimes it's not even the time yet so we should learn to be patient don't be ashamed to keep asking from god god is telling us in the parable of the friend at night and that parable is found in luke 11 uh, verse 5 it's just letting us know that we should not be ashamed to knock you know this friend was knocking at his neighbor's door and the neighbor um gave him what he wanted just because 
the friend wasn't ashamed to keep knocking so this parable is just telling us to keep knocking don't be ashamed just keep asking you know once is the right time it will be given and if it's not so if it's something that is not meant for us god will not give us and he would replace it with something even better so if we don't get what we are asking for we should stay humble we should stay praying and it will be granted to us like i mentioned with the scenario of my son when i went up there and he was crying and you know he wanted something potentially harmful to him i did not give him that and that's just how god is like when you cry and he runs to your rescue and sees that you know you don't need that you know he won't give it to you if it's something that would cost you harm he won't give it to you so when that scenario happened that's what got me thinking i was like oh my god that is how god reacts today i was just going to encourage you on your communication skills with god and know that god is listening it might take a while for him to answer or he might not even answer at all so just keep trusting him and know that he is working everything for your good he is working everything for our good he is not going to harm us he is not going to destroy us because he is working for our good every day is for you to restart so as you start your week tomorrow monday just know it's another opportunity for you to restart it's another opportunity for you to achieve your goals your goals are achievable i encourage you to know that you can do it it's achievable you are stronger than you think so go into monday go into the rest of the week feeling strong enjoy this word of motivation just go ahead and click the like button if you enjoyed it and also click the subscribe button if this is your first time here thank you for watching and see you next sunday